It's the Kosciuszko Killer, Australia's newest and possibly toughest extreme enduro yet. This is just a lap of the prologue track and along the way I'll give some dodgy riding tips for the terrain in case you decide to try this event next year. But first, getting there. It's a bit of a road trip for us, 1600 kilometres, but man the scenery is worth it as you get closer to the snowy mountains. Enough travel stuff, let's ride. I'm following Scotty out for the prologue lap. This is a 7 kilometre loop and it's essentially half of the 14 kilometre track for the main event tomorrow. This is a killer hill climb for many riders in the bronze and silver classes. Plenty of guys struggled here, so here are a few tips. Momentum is critical. Too many riders went too fast, got out of shape, then stopped and had trouble starting again. Keeping a consistent speed within your skill level helps immensely. Excuse me, are you that hard enduro rock star who came ninth in the prologue for silver class? No. <laughs> it, must, it must be that. It must be that guy. The royal way. Always keep the rear wheel weighted. See our body positioning vid for how to do this when standing. And when you sit, you should be back on the rear of the seat. Quite a few guys did this, but kept looping out because they were dropping the clutch or revving too much. The key to traction on loose rocky climbs is plenty of clutch slipping to smooth out the power and low revs. In effect, the clutch becomes an extension of your throttle. If you stop, first check under your bike Here he is. to see if there are rocks that your rear wheel will spin on. Then do a small controlled drop of the clutch with a bounce on your seat. This gives you extra traction and avoids digging a hole that your bike won't climb out of. You don't need a lot of revs, just the well-timed bounce on the seat. What else? Whether you are standing or sitting, paddling with one leg helps to keep your balance in rocky terrain. Don't put too much weight through your leg though, otherwise you de-weight the rear wheel and lose traction. Gentle dabs with your feet are the way to go. Conserve your energy. It is tempting to speed up a lot when it's not so steep, but you need to save your energy for the harder bits. Too many riders went out hard and were exhausted or had arm pump within minutes. Sick of riding buddies saying you need to grow a pair? Are you driven nuts by your lack of riding skill? This is the easy way to true balls out riding. We are coming to the hard part now, so we'll get to see whether guys are using good traction skills or not. Sorry guys! First thing I notice, some guys get off their bikes and start pushing them way too early. This gets exhausting and the unweighted rear wheel just spins. Pushing should be a last resort. Always try to slip the clutch and seat bounce your way out of tricky spots first. Low air pressure makes a huge difference of course. I'm running the tubeless system with around 2 psi front and rear. So the Golden Tire GT333 on the rear is hooking up beautifully. If you 
you are an intermediate rider, these basic tips are the main ones that will help you through the tricky climbs in this event. If you do want to see the full laps with more tips, then these are available as supporter vids that are a tedious 30 to 40 minutes long. Yawn. Also, remember there's plenty of reasonably easy single track in this event. To finish off, let's hit the turbo thrust to give you a quick look. Mm -hmm. 